What's going on guys? This is Jesse from Modern Day Tech and today I'm doing a review on the Urban Fit Balance Board. Now the company did send me out the product for a full honest review. Now getting into the review, I was certainly skeptical at first because I'd never used anything like this before, but after working out with it, I can truly say that it challenged me in ways I had never imagined. And within minutes, I was dripping in sweat even though I've been working out for a very long time. Now today, I'm going to give you a few ways to use the board to improve balance flexibility as well as to burn fat and build muscle. Now a great way to utilize a balance board is to do squats on them. The reason why these can be so difficult and I definitely found out firsthand is because not only does it target the muscles that are involved in the actual workout such as your quads and your glutes, it also involves so many different stabilizing muscles such as your hips and your core. So once you get a hang of this workout, you will definitely see a difference in your muscle coordination and flexibility. The best way I've found to do these squats is to place your feet as far apart on the board as possible. Place most of your weight on the outside of your feet. Come down to about 90 degrees and then come back up. Now, next you can try some pistol squats. Now, I found that this was a little bit easier in terms of finding your balance on the board. So you definitely want to place your foot in the center of the balance board, but definitely more taxing in terms of the overall strength required to complete the workout. Now, you want to come down so that your hamstrings and your calves are about at 90 degrees and come back up in a slow and controlled motion. Now, next you can try the standing lunge. Now, this exercise definitely isn't as difficult as the ones we talked about before, but it is definitely something that you can try to build muscle, especially for your quads and your glutes. Now, you want to have one leg in front of you and one leg behind. Place the leg that is behind you on the balance board directly in the center. Now, come down so that your hamstrings and calves are about 90 degrees, and just make sure that your knees don't go in front of your toes. Do about 10 on one leg and then switch to the other. Now, a great way to target your upper body is to do an incline push up. Now, this variation of push up will be a little bit more difficult than your typical incline push up because you have to kind of balance yourself on the board. But it is definitely a great way to target your triceps as well as your lower chest. Now, you just want to come down so that your elbows are about 90 degrees and then come back up. Now you can also try another variation of push-ups called decline push-ups. Now these are a little bit more advanced only because it targets your upper chest and typically that part of your chest is a little bit weaker. But you'll have your feet on the board, space them out appropriately so that they're balanced and come down so that your triceps and your forearms are about 90 degrees and then come back up. Now an even more advanced variation of a push-up is to do the one arm push-up. Now you want to place one hand on the balance board directly in the center and spread your feet as far as possible. Now you want to come down and while you're doing so, rotate your body so that your weight is distributed between your feet and that one hand. Now, once you're able to master these, you will definitely see a difference in your muscle definition in your chest. Now you can even use the balance board to target your core muscles and a great way to do that is to do knees to your chest. Now you can either do both knees at the same time or separately if it is too difficult, but you definitely want to do them as quickly as you can and keep your core tight throughout. Now those exercises were more so for your lower abs to target your upper abs. You can do planks on the balance board. Now place your elbows on the board pretty far apart so that the board is level. Keep your back straight and try to hold it for about a minute. Now another exercise you can try is to do scissor kicks on the balance board. Now you want to sit as close to the center of the board as possible and keep your core tight throughout. This is a great way to target your lower abs and really finish off your workout. Last but not least, we have calf raises. So you can place your feet on the board pretty far apart and then lift your heels off the board and keep your weight mostly on the balls of your feet. It is definitely important to do these very slowly and to squeeze your calves at the top for optimal muscle recruitment. But all in all, the Urban Fit Balance Board is an excellent addition to any home workout. I highly recommend you check it out and please let me know if this review was helpful.